I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy, y'all the game. Sometimes it's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. Tyler, it's time to unload, just back it up We kicking in that front, don't think you taxing us, you think it's sweet <laughs> This stick gon' handle the beef like a spatula, he learned it all in the street <laughs> Scream rest in peace, he died with his bachelor's luck And I'm yelling free nine, I write whenever it's free time You already know what it is, man, salute to the subscribers That notification gang, ricegangclothing.com For the merchandise, you heard me right If you respect the handle, make sure you subscribe to the channel Wanted to just touch in and um, rap with y'all for a second I know a lot of the battle rap world is in a frenzy right now, all due to the fact that Murder Mook versus Briz Rothstein, the announcement was made yesterday that the battle is not happening so far. And you got so many different perspectives, people saying this, people saying that. I'm only bringing you what I've seen, what I've saw, or what I've heard, whether in passing or from someone directly, as far as why or whatever's going on. So, you have Murder Mook, he comes out on Twitter, he makes a couple statements about what's going on um, as far as the battle going on or why isn't it happening. And then you had JC say, you know, JC is one of those battlers that's always ready. He said, I got two weeks prep. We could do it in two weeks. Um, but, you know, Mook responded to that. But we'll just start off with Mook. Salute to Murder Mook and all that he does. Uh, you know, he's always going to be a topic of conversation. And, um, you know, first of all, there's a lot of people that saying, oh, y'all don't know, y'all don't know. I just want to put it like this, right? The NBA playoffs is going on right now, right? If the Lakers make it to the NBA Finals, which is something that they wanted to do all year, and LeBron James just says, I'm not playing. Like, I, I'm not telling the world why I'm not playing. I'm just not playing. Even though I wanted to get here all year, I'm not playing. Do you think every single media outlet is not going to have something to say? Do you think ESPN, Undisputed, Fox Sports 1, all of the local channels, do you think it's not going to be talked about? Are you crazy? So, yes, this is going to be talked about. And some people, like, they get mad at the conversation that's brought about, but it's like, dog, you don't have to watch it. Like, y'all don't have to get involved with a lot of the conversation that goes on. It's all just being talked about because it's a relevant topic. So... Murder Mook jumps out there and says, On my mother, Briz, I had not one bar about your dead cousin. R.I.P. to him. Now, this is very interesting because in the past 12 hours, I've either been getting texts or I've been hearing from different people saying things about that is more than likely the reason why this battle was not going to take place because they don't know if Briz is in a space to deal with what would have came. Now, I know there are people who are saying, well, you did it to him, you did it to him. Y'all talked about his mother when she passed, but this situation with his cousin just happened literally like a month or so ago. So I don't know if he's in a clear space. And y'all, we're battle rap fans, you know what I'm saying? Like we're all battle rap fans, we watch battle rap, we watch blogs, you woo -de -woo -de -woo. but you have to take in consideration the human factor, you know what I'm saying? If you don't know, Briz's cousin, Zayad, the guy with the orange shirt that everybody knew was in the situation, he had passed away just last month in front of his daughter. So when we sit here, you know, and everybody's like, Briz should still do it, Briz should still do it. Now, from that perspective, hell yeah, we want to see the battle. He accepted it, so we want to see it. But when it gets deeper to the point where you're hearing about this may be the reason or this is probably the reason why this battle is not happening, then... Everybody needs to just let Briz at this point, if he's going to say something about it or if he's going to take the battle or not, you know, make his words. So, I did watch Rock's, fit, uh, Rock's 15 Minutes of Fame interview yesterday. He seemed perplexed. He seemed like he didn't really know what was going on or why the battle was not happening. He stood up and he was like, I don't know. Like, he just did not know. You know what I mean? So, for, as fans... If there's no definitive reason why, then you just open up the floodgates for speculation. You know, fans going to feel like he's running, fans going to feel like he don't want to do it, or whatever the case may be. But everyone wanted to see this happen because a lot of people felt like he didn't even deserve the battle to begin with. So for him to get it and not do it, that leads to speculation. If you can't understand that part, then I don't know what else to tell you. So yeah, that's going to happen. Now, when it comes to the battle rap perspective, 
Um, I had a conversation this morning with pretty high level, God level MC who said that they feel like 100% he was going to rap about that. Because it was like if, if I was battling him, I would rap about that. If I was in the same scenario where he rapped about my mom passing away and then the shoe was on the other foot, the karma don't have no expiration date type shit, he's like, I would have definitely rapped about it. So to say that, he's like, but I can't guarantee that Mook was going to do it, but I would do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what it was. I would definitely have said something about it. I wouldn't have disrespected him, but I would have definitely said, now you're looking at the same, you're in the same situation that you were in. Um, like I said, there's so many conspiracy theories and people can say what they want to say and everybody's got their own opinion about the situation. But from what Mook's saying is that he was not going to rap a single bar about his dead cousin. That's what he said. Uh, somebody said, take JC, Mook. He deserves it. And then, JC, then Mook said, he does. It do he, he, me and him doesn't make any sense. He is I, the Lux timeline, not I. There are others. There are others. There's like there are other people that that he should take. And then JC went on to say, "Tell Mook I do this two week shit. What up?" And then Mook said, "I know, but Mook is not really interested in battles that are not along the timeline of things that he has going on. Like he doesn't like the only random battle I've seen him take in a while was him versus Street Hymns, but that was on social distancing, rare breed, and it was just a round in the park just to show that he could still do it at this level." Um, but you're going to have so many people with so many different opinions. I heard that now Murder Mook is going to announce his opponent for Summer Madness at Summer Madness for the October card. And if you ask me right now, I think that Tay Rock would be the opponent. Um, Hollow to Don doesn't really seem like a likely opponent because that battle was supposed to happen from the last time I spoke to Hollow. That was supposed to happen in 2019. So when you take a battle that was supposed to happen in 2019, and people get paid deposits, that money is spent. So when that money gets spent, and you bring it back a whole year later, and you try to re-engage the conversation, both MCs are like, yo, I was ready for June 12, 2019. If we didn't battle June 12, 2019, we, we a year later, we gotta renegotiate this thing. Renegotiating means repaying. Repaying is not what anyone's trying to do, so we probably will not see Mook versus Hollow the Don. That's just from my personal perspective, you know what I'm saying? I don't think that that battle is going to happen. Uh, Tay Rock did say in his interview on 15 Minutes of Fame, salute to Uncle Ra, uh, Heavy Bags, Restore Order Podcast, everyone that's involved with that movement, that he would be willing to take Mook if Briz is not going to do it. Like, if Briz has no intentions on taking the battle, he was saying that he would be willing to take that battle. Um, what I will say is, I do respect the level of professionalism that Murder Mook has had in this scenario because there are other MCs who would be talking crazy uh, about their opponent if this scenario did come back around. But he did jump on Twitter and he did speak about it. He said he didn't have one bar about his dead cousin, you know what I'm saying, RIP to him. And I think that that's a respectful thing because, you know, um, you can't never tell somebody how to feel because... You ain't, if you haven't been in that situation or if that's not your personal situation. You know, Briz could have seen everything building up and seen the fans and everyone talking about it and seen the numbers, put that in your blogs, put that in your blogs and seen the numbers that, that the people were doing. And he probably was like, the pressure was too much for him to actually deal with. And then you gotta remember another thing is a lot of these people um, that are in battle rap and that are around battle rappers are from the streets. And the folks that are, it might not even be him, the folks around him might not be willing to or ready to deal with what may come out of that type of situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that the information that's coming in from this from my sources is that uh it, it's definitely a situation as far as with his cousin um and he him not being wanting to do that. Um I know battle rappers are gonna feel like they're gonna feel, and you know. I watched Smack's interview yesterday on um, Hip Hop is Real. No, Hip Hop is Real. No, 15 Minutes of Fame. I watched it on 15 Minutes of Fame. Salute to Hip Hop is Real too, but I watched it on Hip Hop um, 15 Minutes of Fame. And he was basically frustrated with the whole situation. He was very visibly frustrated with the whole situation. And like I said in the previous joint, if there was communication on all levels and they knew what was going on i don't think that they would have like because it kind of got thrown under the bus he wouldn't i don't think he would have got thrown under the bus like that in the with the rollout but 
then the question gets asked amongst you know fans why would he take the battle in the first place if he knew that this situation was still looming you know what i'm saying like if it wasn't if everything wasn't ironed out before taking the battle and then you know they have contracts where you can put in the contracts you can't talk about this i think goods has one about his you know family and then you know other battle rappers have had contracts and so you know they, those questions all come up too but the, the, the direction and the topic of this blog is the fact that Murder Mook is saying that he was not going to say one bar, one word about his cousin. You know what I'm saying? So you you guys could take that for what it's worth. Um, you know, we, we and I think a lot of the backlash from people comes from the fact that they wanted to see this battle. It was built up. There was a trailer released. And then everybody starts talking about it, and now you're where we're at right now. So, of course, there's going to be people that are going to be outraged. That's just the way the game goes. I mean, in any other sport, in any other league, you got to expect the same thing. You know what I mean? So, um, we'll see. We'll talk as this develops. But Murder Mook definitely did jump out there and said that he was not going to talk about him at all. And I can only take his word for what it is. If he says he was not going to talk about him, then, you know, I gotta take it for what it is. Now, I don't know if he knew that, or I don't know if Briz felt comfortable with the fact that he's just saying it for face value. Who knows? We probably will never know. Um, the, the card overall is still pretty good, but the main event has been taken away, and I know it's a lot of pressure to try to get this done, you know what I'm saying? To get a main event, to get this thing done, because you got URL who's doing what they're doing, but they're a business at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? There's no friendships in it, it's a business at the end of the day, and they're trying to, like Smack says, complete their objective, and to have your main event get put in rice could, you know, could be d damaging, but at the same time, they'll find a way to get around it. Um, you already know what it's doing, what it does, so you ain't gotta ask what it was. Salute to every single one of y'all out there for keeping this content. Had to bring that, gang! The street, <laughs> scream rest in peace. He died with his bachelor's luck, and I'm yelling free nine. I write whenever it's free time. I heard it's a shortage on 30s, so my nigga triple up P5s.